Sermon on the Mount where he talks about um, I know we just did this. It's like in Matthew, Matthew. 5, I think. Okay. We okay, just no, did but he goes on forever, so Well I know, we but I'll find it. once I get there I'll find where I want. Is it Matthew five? Mm-hmm. We didn't just do this, it was like five months ago. I know, okay. Thank <laughs> you, young man. Um, yeah, it's been a while. Um Okay, my thing, my question is, do you ever have trouble praying? Do you ever just can't find the words just when you're trying to talk to God? Can you, do you ever have trouble with just getting the words out? Yeah. Or what to say? Or sometimes you feel like you need to pray about something and you don't know what it is. Right. Um, when do we have the most trouble praying? When do you when have we're, the most trouble? When we're the farthest from God, when we're not as close as we ought to be. Okay. Are you still playing? I don't know if you broke your phone. Probably in the car. That's okay. You no, because I have something saved on it that. Yeah, would you? It's on that little, that little <laughs> thing. Uh, well, uh, oh, man. your shadow can go too. Yeah. But anyway, this morning I was just in the service and I felt the need to bow my head and pray, and I couldn't, for the life of me, make anything come out. And I just wondered, I know I'm not alone in this, but what do we do when we get that way? What do you do, Pop? You, you've been praying longer than any of us. You've been a Christian longer than all of us. Just because I'm that much older? Yes. <laughs> exactly. So, <clears throat> I want to pray about say somebody's health. And God will only let me pray for his will if he does. Uh, but to answer your question, I, I don't know if you've ever really thought, but when we know we need to pray, but we don't know what to pray about. Is that is that that's that's part of what it, what I'm talking. Thank you so much. If I had a really good husband, he would jump up and up. <laughs> the only if. Oh, the if, only. I, if only. Yeah. See, I called him my better half, so now I guess I'm the better half. Well, I okay. guess what you're supposed to do is listen for what he's trying to tell you. Okay. All right. So am. Yeah, okay. So just listen. What else? What else do y'all? Any 
somebody want to give it an experience that they've had in their own life that they had trouble? I mean, it seems like every time life is not exactly dealing, you know, like I'm just not feeling like life has dealt me a fair hand, is when I find it difficult just to talk to God and say, you know, hey, I don't even know what you want me to pray for. Have y'all ever been that way? I know every probably. Yeah. It's a dumb question because I know everybody, even but, our twenty-year-old over here. But I don't personally find it. I find it hard sometimes to pray in public and say what I want to say. Mm-hmm. It, it's, especially if I'm very emotional about something. You know, because it just, and God knows what I want to say, and God knows what I need to say, and God knows what's in my heart. So I don't, I don't feel, I feel like it's okay just to say, God, take it. And he knows exactly what I need and what to do. Okay. That's, you remember the scripture that says, when you don't know what to pray for, the Holy Spirit is there to, to pray for you, really. To intercede. Okay. Um, so I got to thinking while I was sitting there trying to do that, and I thought, um, on the Sermon of the Mount, Jesus taught a lot of different things, but one, he said, and when you pray, and I'm in Matthew 6, uh, six um, thank you, Pop, for leading me there. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogue and on the street corners to be seen by men. I tell you the truth, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go to your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. And do not keep babbling when you pray like pagans, for they think that... uh, they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. So this is how you should pray, and that's what Jesus said. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our debts, as we forgive, as we have forgiven our debtors, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. And then I don't know where we get the for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Kingdom forever. Okay. Thank you. So if nothing else, just revert back to the Lord's Prayer. Um, is, is what I came up with. And then I did a little research. And it says next time you feel stuck when you stumble over words, wrestling with emotions and you can't seem to wrangle why don't you try something new sit in silence your mind focused on god look around and find the beauty in your environment draw a picture doodle names and images and offer as a prayer work your way through your your daily tasks and keep your mindset of dedicating your work laundry cleaning dishes gardening to god as an act of worship. Listen to a piece of worship music and let yourself get lost in the sound. And to me, that's a very, uh, that that would work for me. That's half the time if you come into my office, I'm playing old-fashioned Christian music, <clears throat> the old hymns, and it just, it eases your mind a lot. And... Um, really really short um, and then I found another thing seven ways to pray when you can't pray go ahead and say it to God anyway so whatever's on your mind just if it's if you're mad if you're angry whatever you know I always say God's a big boy he can handle our our anger and he can handle our being mad at a situation Y'all agree? I think God's a big boy. Even and I know if you're him. angry, I think God can take that out. You know, we're not really mad about the situation, but that may be yeah. calm. Yeah. 
Uh, breathe. Take some deep breaths. Uh, too disgruntled to pray? Start thinking of what you're grateful for. Pray for someone else. Pray for lots of other people. And I don't know how accurate that movie was about, um, oh, what is his name? Mr. Rogers. He kept a notebook and he wrote every page had a person's name on it. And it may have just been somebody he met during the day, but he kept their name on it. And when he prayed at night, he would he would turn open his open his little book and he would see that name and maybe he jotted down a little bit some stuff that the person was going through and he would sit there and he would focus on that person's name and pray for them and then he would flip the page and go to the next person and he would just you know how who knows how long you know if we pray for everybody that we came encounter with on a daily basis. We never have time to watch TV. We didn't have to worry <coughs> that our internet was thing. out. No, it wouldn't be a bad <laughs> thing. Um, <clears throat> say the Lord's Prayer uh, or Psalms 23. Sing. Go for a walk. Um, can y'all think of anything else that maybe you could do? Some kind of fun activity. Call your best friend. Call a friend. Um, talk to somebody. Talk to. I know there's been a lot of times I've either talked to Robert or I've talked to to pops because I was struggling with something, and it really does help to to say, "Hey, I'm struggling here." Um, and sometimes it's just the the getting the words out of your mouth, that it, you know, it just kind of everything just brings, you know, goes away off your shoulders. Um, Sometimes just saying it puts you to realize it wasn't as dire as you thought it was. And so there's nothing wrong if you can't think of words just sitting in silence in God's presence and just let him get give over your mind to him and just let him take you where he wants you to go. And I'm sorry I don't have better scriptures than what I have, but anyway, anything else y'all want? That's pretty much it. That's all I have. I'm used to Daryl being here and <laughs> having more say in Sunday school. Um, I was looking at my notes about that for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Mm -hmm. Which is, is in the King James. My notes say that this is a, I wish I could pronounce that word. L I T U R G I C A L. Liturgical. Liturgical. Yeah. Ending similar to 1 Chronicles 29 11, but it is omitted in some manuscripts. These words would constitute a fitting and climatic affirmation of faith. So um, I went back to 1 Chronicles 29 11. Where it says, Thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in the heaven and in the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted and stand above all. I don't know if they were the, the writers of Matthew the, or the writer Matthew himself was thinking about that one or if he let it out left it out completely and so uh, other person added it in when they were translating the King James mm -hmm. it matches pretty well with First Chronicles 29-11 but it, yes it does
Psalms 23 is very, it's that, it's very reassuring. Mm -hmm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And that goes along with what you were saying this morning. You know, we have everything we need. Did you say that this morning? Okay, you looked at me funny. I thought, was I smoking? <laughs> was I smoking healthy this morning? Anyway. And I'm sorry, I'm not Daryl. I have some great... You don't need to be Daryl. Maybe you have to go on to another one. <laughs> okay, we're going to talk about. Let's see, where's the part about the husband's husband? <laughs> Let me see. I think I'm going to call him that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into that. No. <laughs> they may be up here for a couple hours. They may be home. Oh, it, it, Quite uh, late. <laughs> it doesn't take too long to, to get through that either. Is it? <laughs> Husbands love your wives as Jesus loved the church and gave himself for it. That's yeah. Of that. <laughs> There's also a little thing in there about wives. Got shot in the arm, right? <laughs> it does not say that. Know. If wives. Look at what version you're reading. Are, <laughs> are shown the love that God wants them to do. They'll have no trouble with it. Yeah. Do it that way. It's like a flower. If you water a flower, and you, uh, you know, um, you'll water and see it shine. You know, it'll shine. Oh, you're good, Jennifer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not a it's a little short ones that uh, I'm not a big reader. Mm -hmm. 